Uh, congrats on this. Thanks. I, I mean, look at this. Well, this is one of my favorite casts ever to uh, a great grace the state. group of guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the boys in the middle. We've had almost everybody on yeah, our show. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're How's... hurtling toward the end. It's hard to believe. We, we close in two weeks. Wow. Um, I mean, crazy great reviews. So congratulations yeah, on that. It's I mean, been really I mean, fun. just we've had Jim Parsons come yeah. on, and he came on with a cast. And he broke his foot the first week of shows. He was such a pro. I mean, he's got fine. Right back. Yeah, he's fine. He, but right back on his feet, he barely missed. He missed like one show, basically. But I mean, doing live theater, stuff yeah. like that can go down. Things happen. Audiences have interjections, and people. We have. We, it's a. It's a very funny play. Yeah. So people so tend people to. People yell stuff from the. People have yelled things. Oh in, no! In this you do not show. do that. If you're watching, it's not don't, great. No, it's, it's not, not the best. Great habit to get into. You shouldn't heckle actors. We have one. No. We have one moment in the play where. It's like very, it's very funny, and then it gets very dark. And there's like a very tense moment, and my character, who's called Harold, breaks the tension with like a one-liner zinger joke that the audience kind of usually uproariously laughs at. So the audience laughs, and then the, the, the laugh wanes, and then this one guy in the audience just goes, Oh, Harold! Oh, Harold! <laughs> but like so loud oh, at this Harold. moment of... You oh, card. An, yeah, totally. And like, I'm like, do you think we cannot hear you? Uh, or this other moment when, uh, when I say something to Jim's character where uh, somebody said, my, my line is, he, he's never loved anyone. And someone in the audience goes, except himself. <laughs> and like, we're doing the play. Like, we Thanks for the help. Hear you. Thanks for the help. Man. The um, play's already written. You got to learn how to roll with things like that. And, yeah. and I think it's a testament to these really incredible audiences that we've had that are just so caught up in the action. Well, so congrats you can't really on all complain. of it. The boys Thank in the you. band, if you get a chance, it's a hot ticket. But man, oh man, congrats on that. Thanks. Uh, go check it out, everybody. Yeah, uh, nice. And then uh, I want to talk about in, in Search Of. In Search Of, yeah. It's on history. Now, That's In right. Search Of, I remember uh, as a kid, uh, Leonard Nimoy. Mm -hmm. Leonard, in, my dear departed friend Leonard Nimoy right. hosted the original series. That's cool that you're doing this. Yeah, it was great when they approached me about it. Um, you know, Leonard and I became, as we've talked about many times, uh, very good friends in the last decade of his life. I was always inspired by his curiosity. Well, and you came on a show with Leonard. Yeah, that's right. The yeah, totally. The during the first movie, and uh, he's just he was such an incredible guy. And so when they approached me about doing this, I uh, I was I was really interested in it. You know, and there were some things that I wanted to make sure we changed. Yeah. Leonard was very sort of buttoned up in a suit and a blazer in the studio and sort of welcome you to the show and then throw you to a pre-recorded segment about whatever they were searching for. And I said, I gotta be on the I gotta be on the ground, I gotta be in the field, you know. So I got to travel all around the world. Really? We did ten episodes. Each episode's a different search. Aliens, monsters of the deep, time travel, life after death, mind control, lost city of Atlantis. I mean, I'm, in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Yeah. I think Monsters of the Deep is the scariest Monsters thing. Monsters of the Deep was pretty freaky. We went to Australia. I learned how to scuba dive for this show. I'd never scuba dived before. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that. I went snorkeling in Australia, scuba diving in Greece. I went skydiving. I couldn't scuba dive in Greece either. You couldn't? No, if I couldn't do it in the first place, I couldn't do it. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's <laughs> true. One, one precludes the other. Uh, but I went skydiving. I mean, it was a Sky real... Skydiving, Yeah, too? yeah, yeah, for You're sure, for the up, time man. travel episode. It was amazing. But it, what, I mean, what was the, uh, what's the... How about the alien one? The alien one. Did you uh, meet an alien? I, I, we, we interview a number of aliens. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we, we did meet this woman who claims to have been abducted by aliens. Um, well, we met three people claimed to be abducted by aliens. Wow. Yeah. Um, any, pro out there. any proof? I mean, no hardcore tangible proof, but I will say these three people we interviewed, none of them knew each other, none of them had, had ever met or had any knowledge of the other one's stories, and yet there were these like haunting similarities between what they went through. It was pretty shocking, I have to say. What? I left that episode being like, Ooh, there may be aliens. <laughs> there may be aliens. And did they draw out the thing? One of the guys draws out the aliens, which look very much like the, the aliens you'd expect alien them to look like. Yeah. Is it like, yeah. like, it's, it's, yeah. like I've that. never. You don't even have to draw it. I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. That. It's that precisely. Big eyes. Like, big eyes. I forget how the eyes work. They're big. They're just big. Like that. Yeah. Pretty much. That's it. Long fingers. <laughs> I've never been, uh, I've never been, well, I actually, I don't know. Have you ever encountered a, a UFO or anything like that? No. Well, the thing that's weird about the Aliens episode is that while we were shooting it, there were all of these news reports about, like, government, like, 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 uh, Air Force pilots. Oh, who yeah. Were like, yep, I've seen them. Yeah, I and saw that And there was somewhere. all this, like, stuff about how there's these government that's, documented... They said they saw them in yes. the air. Yeah, like, there's, like, videos them. of them and stuff. And yes. I don't know. It seems. I love that you're doing. I'm yeah, into the show. Cool. I cool. love it. I want to show it's everyone a, a clip. Yeah. Here's Zachary Quinto in this Friday's episode of In Search of on History. Take a look.
We do have some of the most dangerous Venomous animals, animals in the world. Dangerous. Have you encountered any or all of that stuff? Yeah, I've seen stonefish, which can kill you really quick. The box jellyfish is the most venomous animal on the planet. It can kill you in under two minutes flat. If we're really lucky today, we may see um, the blue ring octopus that has a head the size of your thumb. It will bite its prey and inject a neurotoxin, so then it can devour it. What if you were to get bitten by one because it's so small? Would it still have a... It would have an impact. You'd go into a cardiac arrest. And when it gets really cranky, it flashes these blue rings. So you know it's cranky. <laughs> yeah, you're like, uh, let's get lunch let's first. Let's get in the water. <laughs> that was the next thing. Zachary yeah. Quinta, everybody. Check him out on Broadway. In The Boys, in the band, and his TV series, In Search of Friday Nights, at 10 p.m. on History. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on